Keynotes is now built in to Archicad 28. And as a user of the CI Tools plugin version of Keynotes for years, I thought I'd share with you my experience and expertise in Keynotes. So in front of us, we have ARCHICAD 28 open, and at the same time, we have ARCHICAD 27 open as well. In ARCHICAD 27, it used to be under the CI Tools plugin, Direct Keynotes, and then Keynotes Palette. As you can see, I have thousands of Keynotes preset for all of my projects and templates. When we move in to ARCHICAD 28, then the CI Tools is not available to us because that's an additional paid plugin. Instead, we wanna come up to Document, and we wanna come down to Keynotes. If for whatever reason you don't find Keynotes under the document menu, you can go into your work environment, reset that, and it should appear. So if we open up Keynotes in ARCAD 28, we'll get this brand new Keynotes panel. And it's relatively self-explanatory. Just like in ARCAD 27, the best way to structure it is with folders. For me personally, it was a breakdown of different categories for different elements, but you can structure it however you wish. So for instance, if we come back to add 28, let's create our new first folder. That folder we'll simply call Keynotes. And if for whatever reason you're having trouble renaming this folder, right clicking, trying to rename it and struggling, it's because ARCHICAD likes to do things weird and title Keynotes is where you wanna change it down here. After that, we wanna right click on that folder and create a new subfolder. If I was to use the same methodology as I used previously, it would simply be 1.0 general and that is it. After which I could right click on that folder and create a new keynote. The keynote is broken down into three different elements. So of course we have our key, which is generally a short acronym for that specific keynote. One example would be WC for a water closet or SHR for a shower. You can just abbreviate all of these things to create your keynotes. Alternatively, you can use a series of number-based keys that will then relate back to your title and to your description. The best way I found it to operate was to actually break it down further. So if we look at a 27 structure, we'll see we have general and then we have 1.01.00 general and then 1.01.01 standards, which starts breaking down the information in the description. Now, the general 00 becomes our main subheading in the Keynotes legend. Without it, it is a little bit broken and a little bit scattered. So I just found that was the best for organization. If we were to repeat that same format in ARCAD 28, I can simply just go ahead and copy and paste that in. Now to place this standards keynote, we simply go place label and zooming in anywhere on the screen, we create that label. As you can see, it automatically creates an arrowhead, a line and the key itself. If we open up those settings, you'll see some basic annotations that we can change. For example, the line style, the arrowhead and the colors. Unfortunately, there's not too much you can change in the ARCHICAD keynotes. So for example, if we were to come back in to ARCHICAD 27, and do the same thing with the keynote, you'll see it's a different object with different properties. So in 27, you had the ability to actually decide what information you wanted to show. So for example, the key, the title, and or the description, it could all show straight away. You could then go ahead and of course, add your arrowheads and your lines. So it looked similar to ARCHICAD 28. But at the moment, from what I can tell in ARCHICAD 28, you have no ability to show this key with a title and the description. Just a quick friendly reminder for you all, if you're ever having any trouble with keynotes, you can do one of two things. First of all, you can check out the Discord group down below. It's completely free. It has thousands of members from around the world, just like you, architects, students, designers, a whole variety of people. And two, of course, in the description as well is davidtomich.com.au, where you can download your free ARCHICAD shortcuts so you can master ARCHICAD so much much faster. Now, if we would move to a layout page and drag and drop one of our drawings onto this page, it would automatically create our legend. But for the purpose of this, I'm simply just gonna place that same key on the layout and then go place legend. Drag and dropping that legend in the top right-hand corner. Once that legend is placed on our drawing page, you'll see it creates a new object. It goes in three columns for me. That's just how I've set it up. You can set it up however you wish. On the left-hand side, we have our keys. So somebody would reference 1.01.01. They'd look at our legend and go, that is referring to the standards. That 
is this note here. If we open up the settings for the Keynote Legend, it has a little bit more than ARCAD 27 did. So for example, jumping back to ARCAD 27, looking at the Legend layout for CI tools, you see we have a lot more going on. We have the ability to change a few more things, change the content, of course, add our categories, keys, titles, and descriptions, same as we do in 28, but we have a little bit more flexibility and freedom Unfortunately, we don't have that in 28. So referencing back to 28, we have a generic filter to indicate which keynotes we wish to filter, how we wish to filter them, and how we wish to order them. We have a selected field breakdown, which for me is three columns, key, title, description. And then we could go ahead and add additional borders and bits and pieces, whatever we thought was appropriate for us and our documentation style. We could adjust our text, and that is basically all we can do. So if we go okay, we'll see this is added a few extra lines. We can even add the columns in so everything is aligned and away we go. Keynotes are used throughout your plan sections and elevations. They're added to generic elements. So instead of having to type all of this information, you can quickly go ahead and drag and drop a predefined keynote. One thing that is better about ARCAD 28's keynotes is if I was to go and change this keynote from .01 to .05 for example, it would automatically update that everywhere. Whereas in ARCAD 27 on the CI tools version, I would have to go in to an independent manager, search all of my keynotes, repair and then refresh them. So this is definitely saving a lot of time. If there were a way to add the title, and the description into this keynote that is attachable to the drawings, that would be fantastic. However, unfortunately, that is just not the case. For me personally, a kit like this is used on the floor plan. A key with a title is used on an elevation, and then the description itself is required in sections. Obviously, the standards would have to be adjusted for these new keynotes, and for me personally, I'll most likely be sticking with the CI Tools plugin. However, it is nice to see keynotes now officially in ARCAD 28. Anyway, that's all from me, team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below, and like always, I'll see you next week.